Halo, selamat datang dalam proses pembuatan film yang dipersembahkan oleh Palang Merah Indonesia. Hari ini kita akan menunjukkan kepada Anda semua bagaimana membuat rumah yang aman dan cepat untuk keluarga Anda. Rumah yang baik dan kuat yang dapat bertahan dari bencana alam seperti gempa. Rumah ini terbagi dengan tiga ruang utama. Jika Anda membuatnya dengan benar, maka Anda dapat menyelesaikannya dalam satu minggu dan menggunakannya selama Anda mau. This house is made out of bamboo. So why bamboo? Bamboo is light and easily carried. It is very strong. If an earthquake comes, it will bend, not break, like these houses. We bring you this special design from Ibu Tonya, who's an expert in bamboo construction from Venezuela. She was brought to Indonesia by our partners, the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. <coughs> Find your bamboo. Bamboo is easily found in most places on Java. Sangatlah penting untuk memastikan bambu yang akan dipotong harus lurus dan kering serta berusia tiga sampai lima tahun. Don't take the green shoots. You can recognize the mature shoots from the white powdery stains. Yang sudah siap dipakai, warnanya kuning dan lebih ringan. Sedangkan ini yang masih muda, yang belum siap dipakai, yang harus dikeringkan terlebih dahulu. Warnanya hijau, lebih berat. If you can, cut the bamboo in the dry season, in the waning moon. After you cut the branches, leave them standing up in the grove for three days to dry. If you have time, soak the bamboo in salt water or boric acid for between five days and three months. The longer you soak them, the better. If you need to build quickly, then buy your bamboo. Remember to make sure it is dry and straight. To make this house, we will use two types of bamboo. Apus memiliki ukuran diameter yang kecil dan harganya yang murah. Kita memerlukan sekitar 250 meter. Sedangkan petung mempunyai diameter yang lebih besar dan kuat dan harganya yang mahal. Kita memerlukan sekitar 12 meter. Important facts. Dry bamboo. Straight bamboo. Three to five years old. Two types, apus and petong. Laying the foundations. First, you need to make five holes. One at each corner and one in the middle. Make five concrete pyramids. 40 centimeters high. They go in the holes. Yeah, 
Ini bambu hapus untuk ditaruh di atas pondasi dengan disertai pasak besi yang berfungsi untuk menahan bambu hapus supaya tidak goyang-goyang kemudian hari setelah dicor bambu hapus akan dimasukkan sepanjang 20 cm ke dalam pondasi Then you can pour the concrete around them. Preparing the bamboo. When cutting the bamboo to size, always try and make the cut after the nodes or ruas so the ends will be sealed. If you have to cut in front of the nodes, then use a smaller piece of bamboo to plug the hole in the end. You'll need lots of pins this size. Make them with machetes from the off cuts of bamboo so nothing is wasted. Building the walls. First, make two holes in the top and bottom of both patong uprights. They need to be able to fit the poles which run along the bottom and top of the end walls. When you have made this rectangle, lift it onto the foundations. To secure the joints, drill holes and put in pins. Then cut them off with a saw. This important technique will be used for the rest of your house. Tie on the poles running along the top and bottom of the side walls with rope. Later, they'll be secured. Then make the other end wall in the same way. Put up the two uprights in the middle of the end walls. Put two poles of apus for the ceiling down the middle of the house. Once again, they're lashed. They'll be fixed later. You might need to use two cross braces in the middle to hold the end walls the right distance apart. These will be removed later. Then the longer poles down the outside edges of the roof. Now cut the upper bamboo for the side walls and windows. Eight pieces. Put the tops and bottoms for the windows between two of the side wall uprights. To secure the joints, drill and pin again. You will finish with four window sets. Another thing 
that is very important to remember, don't use wire or nails for the structure. They will split the bamboo and your house will not be safe in an earthquake. Now put the four windows in place. They should be one meter in from the corners of the house. Lift them off the ground using stones or bricks. This will protect them from water and insects. Drill holes and put in pins. Bottom, then top. They're sawn off and then tied. Bottom, then top. Important facts. Use pegs and rope to make joints. Don't use nails and wire. Put bricks under windows to stop insects. Preparing for the floor. Run a second piece of Arpis bamboo along the bottom of the side walls, inside and lower than the first. Repeat this on the other side. When you secure it to the corners, put a pin through it, but don't saw it off. Use this pin to bind the bamboo with rope. The floor will sit on these two pieces. Strengthening your walls. Now we put in extra pieces of bamboo for strength. These are called diagonals. First the ones shaped like a cross in the middle of the side walls. You'll need a special join for these. Cut the ends at 45 degrees so they fit. Cut one of them in two. It will be joined together again by a smaller piece of Arpas bamboo which runs through the middle of the first diagonal. Then put in the other diagonals using the drill and pin method. If your drill cannot reach through all the poles, you may have to put two pins at an angle. The door frame. Cut two holes in the patong bamboo at the front of your house. Shape the ends of the uppers and tap into place. You may need to prise the corner apart to get them in. Now center the upright in the middle. It should be two meters from the corner. Then two more uprights one meter in from the corners. Starting the roof. Put cross braces at the top of the four corners. They need to be one meter from the corners. Lash them in place, then drill and pin. Put the four rafters across the house. Tempat usuk dalam ini ditempatkan sejajar dengan bambu panjang struktur jendela. Usuk-usuk ini berada di bagian atas struktur dinding di bawah dua batang bambu utama yang membujur 
di tengah struktur bangunan. Ukur sepotong bambu petung terakhir untuk bagian struktur atap paling atas. Bambu tersebut harus berukuran panjang 2,6 meter. Jika terpaksanya tidak bisa dipotong di bagian belakang ruas, Anda harus menutup bagian ujungnya dengan kayu. Anda harus membuat tiga lubang pada bambu tersebut. Bentuklah tiga bagian bambu apus dan pasanglah lalu ikat dengan tali ijuk. Pasaklah batang bambu yang membujur tersebut pada usuk. Lalu kemudian letakkan batang bambu paling atas di tempatnya. Pasanglah dua penguat diagonal pendek di bawahnya. Kemudian, pasangkan dua diagonal panjang dari bambu yang membujur paling atas tersebut ke tiang panjang bagian tengah pada struktur dinding. Struktur ini digabungkan dengan dua potong bambu pendek di setiap sisinya. Akhirnya, pasanglah dudukan genteng atau usuk luar. Ini baru struktur dasar sebuah rumah bambu yang tahan gempa. Rumah Anda sekarang sudah siap dipasangi genteng, daun pintu, dan jendela. Demikian film ini kami persembahkan. Palang Merah Indonesia mengucapkan banyak terima kasih karena Anda telah menyaksikan. Selamat mengerjakan.